yo, welcome to another episode of Key Reaction. It's your boy Kieran. I got another good one for you today. I'm gonna continue watching Dangun Rumpa Broken Faith. I'm gonna be watching Chapter Two, Episode Two. So can't wait to actually see what happens next. This show really caught my attention, and also can't wait to see the Dangun Rumpa animation very soon. That I am looking forward to. So yeah, so far this series has been pretty good, and I'm gonna continue watching Dangun Rumpa Project X which, you know, I actually thought was pretty good too. I think it's really good so far. Can't wait to see this episode. So with all that being said, let's watch. Stand in room for Broken Faith. Max, the ultimate cowboy. <laughs> Jack, the ultimate weapon smash. Elizabeth, the ultimate genius. Leo, the ultimate guitarist. Jay, we just don't know. <laughs> Marcus, the ultimate lawyer. Scarlet, the ultimate gang leader. Surgeon Derrickson, the ultimate soldier. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Micah, the ultimate streamer. Kyle, the ultimate escape artist. Audrey, the ultimate librarian. Ashley, the ultimate carpenter. Xander, the ultimate psychic. Millie, the ultimate baker. Grace, the ultimate mate. Sierra, the ultimate stunt double. Akimi, the ultimate historian. And Headmaster Mal, of course. Hey, Max. What's up, Max? So, you guys in the inner clown too? Huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you guys came to my stand-up routine. Your what? Stand-up? All right, so, oh, one God. of you flamingos, so just one leg up. Come on, come on. I don't want to hear it. Know, Max, looking right at you, but... <laughs> uh, what? Because, if there's something with those legs like up, they would fall over. <laughs> <laughs> So shut up before I splatter you on everyone here in the gym and feed what's left here to my dogs. Because I will do so if you interrupt me one more goddamn time. Now then, shut can up. I have a volunteer shut for the up. audience? I already interrupted you. Oh, please. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to kill one of you. Yet. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. <sighs> you guys aren't fun. Yeah, yeah I know. Here. What are you doing, Mal? This is what I'm doing. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh. It's a little tight. <clears throat> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Because I have enough respect to make someone comfortable before they die. Oh. It didn't appear like that in the trial beforehand, <laughs> but okay. What even <laughs> is this? Great question, Jack. It's your motivation. Tell what exactly? To kill someone? No. Oh, I'll find really out. Not that obvious. Kinda. I guess it's 50 50. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> a suspicious collar on someone's neck not even raised a little bit of suspicion? <sighs> oh, is it, is it gonna be like Suicide Squad? Like, if you don't kill someone, he's gonna kill you himself? It's going to become a firework. What? No. So little and he's so good. We speak, sir. Oh, you better not him. kill him. He won't die unless someone else dies. So that collar on his neck is going to explode unless someone dies. Either kill oh my god, so it's like Suicide Squad. Yes sir, Mr. Marcus, that is literally what I just said. <laughs> Do you know how long it'll be till it gets set off? Wow, for once something came out of your mouth that didn't make me want to kill myself. <laughs> or you. That's progress. This caller will detonate tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Are you kidding me? Tomorrow. I know what I said, and I'm hard of hearing and insane. That's evil. But all right. I got it from my old headmaster. 
He's like a dark version of Chris McClane. Huh? Nap time over oh. already? Clyde? Yes, Will you get a nap time? I don't! <laughs> <It's not fair. laughs> oh, forget it. Oh, damn. Mm. You'll buy me some sweet tea. <laughs> this film already. Now, for one more announcement, I will be having my assistant walk around the school to make sure you guys don't escape. Yeah. Meet William. William? William? That, that sounds like. <gasps> Hello. Wonderful. It appears Elizabeth already knows William. That's nice to know. That's all for now. Remember, oh. kill someone or Jack goes kaboom. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you okay, Elizabeth? You know him. That's my brother. Excuse Her me. brother? What? Damn. He doesn't look to have much emotion either. <laughs> She's right. He looks emotionless. <laughs> A mindless sheep following orders. Don't talk about my brother like that. I mean, I just did. Shit. Okay, calm down. I'm just stating the obvious. <laughs> he does have a point, though. I know. Guys, I have a collar on my neck and I don't want to die. Shit. I forgot. Can't you just, like, cut it off? We need to find a way to get that collar off your body. I know. It's just I don't know how to. Well, we uh, will find something. There is no way mm -hmm. you could get that off other than killing. My SPS. It's not. Well, I don't want to die. Then kill someone. Oh. We don't have to kill. You do if you want him to survive. Oh, yeah. Don't hurt my assistant or I will turn your ass inside out. That sounded sexual, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, God, I want to play. Oh god. Now, if you excuse me, <laughs> I have things to do and places to be. Lovely. A motive that only seems to affect two of us. Don't worry, Jack. Mm. It will save you, or I'll be a failure as an older brother. Dang. To be continued? Dang. Yo. So he's forcing them to kill someone, or Jack's gonna die? Like, couldn't they, isn't there like a way to like cut the collar off? I'm just very curious. If it's, if it's not like easy to cut off with scissors, then, then I don't know how to defuse it. So, very curious to see what Mac will do to protect his little brother from any harm. But that's insane. Okay, so Headmaster Mal clearly is a douchebag. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but, jeez, um... Yeah, he was a little um, funny in this, just a little bit, but, you know, he's still Headmaster Mal. You, you already know. I, I still hate him, still hate his guts, but, yo, I, I cannot believe it. I can't believe what happened. Like, even Audrey and Jack, like, I really liked their relationship in the last episode, and now things are already going full circle for Jack, now that he's gonna be a sacrifice if no one kills someone tomorrow morning. So he's, oh my god. Like, I was gonna say, I really liked, I was thinking, what is Audrey gonna think about this? But, damn. Headmaster Mal called them in the previous episode I watched, like, after Jack and Audrey were talking, like, oh my god. I kind of knew something was going to interfere with their relationship. Like, I kind of thought it was going to happen, but I didn't expect it to be, like, this chaotic, you know? Jeez. But this was a pretty awesome episode. Pretty great episode so far, and I can't wait to see the next one very soon. So, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed watching this with you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Danganronpa Broken Fate Chapter 2, Episode 2. So, I really enjoyed watching this with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And until then, I'm Kieran. This has been Kieran Reactions, and I'll see you in the next one. Kieran Reactions, signing out.